Good morning, Grace family. We're back here with Pastor Tim this morning. Um, hello. We're having some Hi, morning coffee with Pastor Tim. Mm -hmm. that coffee fuels the day. Mm. Oh, yes. Pastor Tim, we've seen you on almost every single week of videos. You do announcements for us, you preach, um, and you preach. But um, what is something else that you've been involved in during quarantine that you don't normally get to be a part of um, that you'd love to share with our congregation that you've, you've had your hands in? Yeah, um, well, a couple things come to mind. One is the Long Beach Church Collective. A, uh, a friend of our, our uh, church, Eric Marsh, who's a pastor over at Park Crest uh, Christian Church, um, he uh, and some others have been doing a weekly as part of the Long Beach Church Collective, one of the things they've been up to is doing a weekly uh, Monday at noon uh, prayer time with some different leaders throughout the city. They usually have three or four different people on and they'll spend about half an hour uh, just praying for different needs. And this, this uh, started the week after uh, the lockdown was put into effect back in March. And it's been going every week and it's just been a really uh, beautiful expression of the church in the city and how we can collaborate and partner together with others uh, during tough times. It's just so good to hear uh, from, from different leaders uh, sharing what they're going through and praying for others and seeing the, the kingdom at work, I think. Um, another thing that's just kind of a fun thing for me is I got a subscription to Masterclass, which are, if you're on Facebook mm -hmm. or I think on television, there's commercials too, they'll show all these leading mm -hmm. experts in their fields doing uh, short videos that end up being a, about three hours worth of lectures sometimes, um, and they're incredible. So I've done poetry with Billy Collins, uh, how, uh, writing with Malcolm Gladwell. I'm in the middle of uh, one with this guy that does uh, that show Lucky Dog, the dog trainer dude, oh, with a little eyebrow uh, mm -hmm. shaved right here. Um, and I'm, we got a new dog during quarantine, which highly recommended. And uh, we're trying to train him. And so that's just been a fun thing I've been able to do uh, with a little different schedule uh, during this time, trying to redeem the time. So, yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's awesome. I've heard of Masterclass mm -hmm. and that's really cool. Very cool. Good Very way to cool. spend the time. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, awesome. Um, so what is some way that, I'm curious, what's like a cool way that God has been moving in ministries around you or in your life? What's like a cool God story from this season? Yeah, I would say what I'm hearing from a lot of people, and I would add my own voice to the uh, the mix, is um, that it's been kind of a forced slowdown in some ways. And uh, if anyone out there is a people pleaser, um, then you know to not be around those people all the time, where you're constantly getting your affirmation, it's been different. Has been a, a good opportunity for a lot of us to take a look at our soul and. Uh, how we root our identity and what's really important and are we uh, do we recognize that if we slowed down or stopped or died uh, that God's ministry would continue to move forward without us and when we can take hold of that that uh, it doesn't depend on us we get to be a part of it but it doesn't depend on us then that frees us up to be really useful and really enjoy uh, what he's called us to. And I think that's a huge lesson that I've learned during this time. And I hear that from others too. Yeah, absolutely. I would definitely echo that as well. So it's true for a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. All right, let's close out. Uh, what encouragement do you have for us? This season is longer than we anticipated and there is quite yeah. a journey ahead of us. Um, and so how would you encourage us or, or um, yeah. what are some words of encouragement? Yeah. We continue well, forward. Um, yeah. It, it's going to sound cliche, but cliches are cliches because they're true. And so my word of encouragement would be from Romans 8, uh, where Paul says uh, at the end of this great chapter, uh, for I am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor things present nor things to come nor powers nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation, which I take to be uh, COVID and injustices and everything that we experience nothing else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of god in christ jesus our lord and so when paul wrote that to the church at rome they uh, obviously maybe you don't know this but they they endured a lot 
in their world. It cost them a lot to be Christians. There were trials constantly abounding. And so he's not writing from uh, some kind of idyllic uh, situation where he says, hey, everything's good. He's mm-hmm. saying, no, in the midst of all this persecution and chaos and the trials that we endure, uh, nothing can separate us, not even life or death. Uh, from the love of God in Christ Jesus. So that would be my encouragement to everyone is just be rooted in his love. Know that he loves you and nothing can separate you from his love and lean on your brothers and sisters. Uh, lean on your church family during this time too. Don't try to do this alone. It's it's all about community. But uh, mm-hmm. remembering those things is really, really important. So if our church, if I, Amanda, if anyone here at Grace can help you uh, to do that, uh, please let us know. But it, it what a joy yeah. to know that nothing can separate us from Christ's love. So. Absolutely. It mm-hmm. is. And you can just sit, grab some coffee, grab some tea, sit and just dwell in that and mm-hmm. repeat that mm-hmm. over and over and over and over. Because as you sit longer with that, that'll right. just kind of resonate d- differently mm-hmm. in your heart, I think. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's mm-hmm. my... So when I was little, I used to um, sit in in main service with my mom when she took us to church. I wasn't interested in kids ministry. I was um, very intimidated by all the kids. Mm-hmm. So I would sit mm-hmm. with her and she would like write little notes to me on cards, mm-hmm. the little like note cards they had. But one of them I still have from 1997. Um, mm-hmm. And it is, um, it is that verse from Romans 8 that nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our mm-hmm. Lord. And it is in my Bible to this day. Um, and what a beautiful sentiment that she wanted me to, to know and remember, um, and that I still cherish, um, more so because it, it, it came from my own mother reminding me of that. Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's, mm. yeah, beautiful. That's really sweet. I always feel kind of young until you say something like when I was a kid in 97, because <laughs> I'd been married two years by that point, but that's, that's beside the point. Yeah, I was definitely a, a little child <laughs> sitting on the floor oh of God. the sanctuary at Paznaz. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> Not sitting in the seat because I'm a kid and I don't know how. <laughs> right, right, right. Awesome. Well, thanks for having coffee with yeah, us this morning, thank Tim. thank you. I appreciated it. And we'll see you on the pulpit yep. preaching. <laughs> okay, see you soon.